All right, so I equipped some skills and you know, you actually have to equip it to actually use it, which is very, very interesting because I didn't know that. So you, what happens is you do these, these things here, right? Which looks like some sort of board and then you have to equip the auto healing and stuff like that. If you don't, it doesn't work. But anyways, I healed my character a bit. I don't even know where I got in the berry, but let's go move on here. This Larset place, anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Ah, uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. Search is using VA. Well, that's interesting. on the return trip are you certain we are going in the correct direction there is no need for concern this is the way i assure you with nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks even the most seasoned adventurers might get lost who am i surprised attacking Trying to test this VA thing out. We have company. I got it. I got it. Oh man. What? Not with my promise left unfulfilled. I don't really understand it because we must pass through this building, no? Indeed. The interior may be complicated, so take care not to lose your way. The exit is on the southern side of the ruins. <laughs> I bet Duma could probably just zip around a building like this. We don't lose HP. Well, that's interesting. So we could fly over things now. Whoa! Or try to fly over things. It isn't working. I'm not gonna give up that easily. Come on. Oh, all right, we could glide like that. Now the question is... Okay, we could skip most of the battles. Which I guess is kind of beneficial. Now, what 
is above here. I don't know, it doesn't seem like anything is up there, but... Actually, it's gonna go down into a hole. Actually, we can't go down it. I mean, we can't go into it. Well, that's very... Alright, so that's interesting. So the game, even though you can fly, but certain places you can't go, it's locked. It's not locked, it's just that there's no programming in it. <laughs> We are nearing the exit of the ruins. Well, that's interesting. We have a scanning thing. Actions by allies. Using items during chain combos. We must pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, uh, that's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. So, it told me something about a full screen mode. Except... I forgot. I mean, I'm pressing it. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go for the pod then. How do I disengage? I shall see to this! Whoops. Leave it to me! Man, I just froze. Are you serious? Just because I pressed L, I mean, the flying thing? So I guess it's because the game is big and the map is big and it requires loading. The hell are those things? back up here because my pod is up there I don't want to get stuck okay, this fire thing I remember going by we have come oh is it, is it going to lag like this like Throughout the entire freaking game, I think it's because I have a. I see that. I have something encoding in the background as well. Oh, well, that's gonna end in like five minutes, anyways. So hopefully the leg stops then. We must pass through the forest to reach Larset Village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. Enemies. Yes. Destroy. Let's come up with another day. Enemies up ahead. Where are we going? Destroy. Right. Neutralized. Huh. It uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... But I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain... I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for, right? 
Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh... Uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Uh, yes? Uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Asarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset Village is to the south. All right, so I don't even know how to get to... Well, I guess this is the path. There's like only one path, right? Damn, this thing is really bothering me. Stop loading. I'm starting to think it's actually the game. So we need to get all the way over there. Oh, I could have just glided over there. We have company. Uh-oh. I don't want to go there. Stop. Oh, that was bad. Neutralized. How do I get up there? That's a bigger question.
Okay. So this thing... Interesting. If we what? continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just... We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. Please! Arms are killing me. Might as well. Everyone all right? I get to learn. Enemies up ahead. Careful. Nice. Got it. Over here. You know, I gotta fix this after this section. I can't handle this freezing thing. It's really bothering me. What the heck? Not with my promise left unfulfilled. Your Highness, the village of Larset lies to our west. West. Indeed. Ooh, boy. Can't wait to kick my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. <sighs> I second the ladder. Come. Our set village is not far now. The heck? Okay. I'm totally confused. I can't get through. Oh, I have to press Y. Made it at last. You must be exhausted. Shall we retire to the inn? The inn should be the large building on the north side of the village. Don't you think we should hide that thing? It kinda makes us stand out. We have arrived.
That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Which star do you call home? Whoa, no. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yetus, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. And roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow. Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished semiomancers in all of Asarius. 